Legendary friends, I'm with the legendary Piero. How are you, big man? Good, thank you, sir. How are you? Now, first things first, I just want to acknowledge that you are a fine Australian Army veteran. Is that the case? I am, only up until year eight when I did cadets. So actually going in was something I never made it to because I've got, I didn't pass the fitness test because of my knee. Oh, well, there you go. But I was going to say, you are an amazing man, Piero. And can you tell us a little bit about you and what you've been up to lately and what you're working on? Oh, wow. That's... That's a big question, Ed. Um, what am I all about? I partner with senior executives, corporate leaders, and also business owners to teach them freedom from addiction. But not only just the addiction, it's the freedom from the life that the addiction denies. So that's what I do. What I've been working on is I've got a resilience journal. I've been working on um, year 12 in Goulburn, and I've been mentoring the whole year. I've also been working on the new release of the Piero brand. And the Piero brand focuses more on what's really holding leaders back from living and leading a professional life and personal. Wow. And what have been some of the top insights you've learned lately about addiction? What kind of addictions have you dealt with? And what, have you, what are the deep insights that we may not be aware of? Okay, well, let's deep dive into it. One of my things that I truly want to share with you, and I just want to make sure that this comes across lightly, is that I do not wish to come across as arrogant. I'm just a straight shooter. And I want to make it clear that I'm not for everybody. When I was 10, I was introduced to pornography the incorrect way. By the time I was 14, I was addicted. One of the things that really got me out of that it was I learned how to create healthy coping mechanisms versus unhealthy coping mechanisms. So I designed exceptional results methodology and an exceptional leadership methodology. And why I'm doing that and some of the things that I've learned is because a lot of leaders are placed under a lot of stress. They're in a lot of pain and their marriages are on the rocks. They're disconnected from their children and a lot of them use some sort of substance abuse, for example, alcohol or drugs, to mask or cope with their mental health issue. For example, anxiety, depression and or imposter syndrome or stress. So I'm compelled and I'm committed to working with those leaders. And how I do that is through three things. Number one is alignment. What I've noticed is that leaders are horrendously out of alignment due to the costs of their ego and their title. The third one, or the second one is commitment. It is phenomenal how many leaders actually want to change versus the ones that actually do commit to change. There's a big difference between talking the talk and walking your talk. The third one is mindset mastery. Now, a lot of leaders run a mile when they're placed in front of me because they're actually too afraid to go in deep where the gold really is. And the fish, Ed, stinks from their head down. So there's some of the things that I've learnt. There's some of the things that I've come across in my, in my work. And this is where I really wanna take it to the next level. Oh, just incredible, and uh, I just got to say as well, where are we right now? Uh, right now we're in the Victory offices in Canberra. And I only just <laughs> realised recently, pardon my ignorance, until I met you, I had no idea that Goulburn was so close to Canberra. <laughs> Tell us a bit about Goulburn. So, so Goulburn's 50 minutes away. I was born and bred there back in 82. Um, I've had um, a multitude of leadership roles across a multitude of different industries from tech... Um, to telecommunications, to HR, to finance, to personal fitness and growth and the automotive industry. But Goulburn is, look, Goulburn's a small town and it actually has an amazing community. My godmother was actually the second lilac time queen back in 67, I think, or 69. Um, so yeah, Goulburn, Goulburn's an amazing place. It's got a tight knit community, but it's also growing because it's a hub between Canberra and Sydney. Well, there you go. And I was gonna say, it's been incredible having you with us. Now I wanna give you the final word. What are your final words and closing thoughts to keep all of us around the world thinking the right way? Stop giving a shit what other people think about you. Follow your heart and do what makes you happy.